This is the velocity system. At the top is a check valve. Below that is a hollow rod which carries fluid and acts as the power string. Below that is the fluid inverter followed by the ultimate far plunger and traveling valve. As we start the unit, fluid saturated with sand is lifted and forced into the fluid inverter. The fluid inverter transfers the sand and fluid from the larger annulus of the pump barrel into the smaller hollow rod. Because the inside diameter of the hollow rod is much smaller than the inside diameter of the pump barrel, the fluid increases in velocity, allowing the pumping unit to pump at a slower rate of speed and maintain the velocity needed to carry the solids and sand to the surface easily. As we focus in on the hollow rod, the sand and fluid is traveling so fast through the hollow rod, you can barely see it as a blur as it jettisons upwards. It's a little easier to see it pass through the check valve at the top. We've added pressure above the check valve to simulate hydrostatic pressure from the fluid column in a regular well. The check valve at the top serves to hold back the hydrostatic pressure above the pump. This allows the traveling valve to open much easier without having thousands of pounds of pressure keeping it closed. It will also prevent high volumes of sand from settling down on the pump should there be a power failure. The check valve is also important when it comes to preventing gas locking. We are adding air to the pump in an effort to create a gas lock. Gas locking is a condition when dissolved gas released from solution during the upstroke of the plunger appears as free gas between the valves. On the downstroke, pressure inside the barrel completely filled up with gas may never reach the pressure needed to open the traveling valve. On the upstroke, the pressure inside the barrel never decreases enough for the standing valve to open and allow liquid to enter the pump. Thus, no fluid enters or leaves the pump and the pump is locked. Notice how the traveling valve opens with each stroke the moment it touches the fluid. Even lifting as little as half a cup of fluid, the pump stays operational. In a conventional pump, it would have been gas locked already. On the upstroke, the gas from the larger annulus is forced into the smaller hollow rod. The gas on the hollow rod is compressed much faster opening the check valve allowing the gas and fluid through. Another advantage is the close proximity of the fluid inverter to the plunger. The production of fluid is achieved quickly even when gas is present in the upper portion of the pump. 